Hey YouTube friends and family, what's for dinner? What meal are we fixing on a quarter? Well, maybe it costs a little more than a quarter, but we're going to have fun doing it. It's October. In this home, we might as well have our own Oktoberfest. Bev showed us how to cut, or Deb, Deb showed us how to cut a pumpkin. And of course, most of us know, but a lot of people don't. What you do is you put your knife in at an angle. And then you simply come around keeping your angle and working your knife carefully, mind you, so not to have it slip, around your pumpkin. Now there's two reasons that you do it at the angle like this. For one, it'll give you a lid. The top of your pumpkin will become a lid. And she did a wonderful recipe over on her channel on Purbane. I will put the link for her channel down below and you can go and check out her recipe. This recipe is going to be a little bit different but I can guarantee you friends we've made it in our home and it's wonderful. Now when you pick this up you're going to note that it has a bevel. We beveled the top. Can you see this beveled top? What that does is it gives us a lid. If you can find the right place here. There we go. To put it back on. Now inside you'll see that like a Ben Time Traveler showed us in his video that you are packed with all of this wonderful, wonderful seed bed. We're going to take that out and we will save every seed. And I'll show you guys what we do with our seeds when we come back or when we're ready to do seeds. In the meantime, we'll be laying them out, cleaning them up and letting them dry. So I'll be back guys to show you what's for dinner. The first thing you want to do before you do this is wash your hands so you don't get germs in there and when you're done you got to wash them also. So you're washing your hands just so you can get dirty again? No. You have to wash your hands before you do this. But do you get your hands dirty and sticky again? Yes. What are you doing? I'm getting all the seeds out of this stuff. Out of the pulp? Yeah, I forgot Did what to say. Right and, and we're going to saute it. So they're not going to waste, huh? Yeah, and the seeds were going to dry. Right, Mom? Absolutely. Are the seeds edible? Yes, they are. If, if you guys are listening on the camera, if you ever get a pumpkin with pumpkin seeds, you could take, you could dry them, and then and then put them in a Ziploc bag, and put a, or saute them and put a little salt, and they're very good to snack on. Are they? Yes. Have you had them before? Yes, I have. Do you think they're nutritious? They're very nutritious. That's awesome. What do you? What's going to happen with that pulp that's in the skillet? We're go, we're going to take this pulp and we're going to saute it on the stove over there. And then what? And then we're going to eat it after we get all the rest of this stuff done. Very good. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey, YouTube friends and family. I am David Mitchell, the techie behind my mom's cooking videos, and you just saw my little sister separating the pulp from the seeds, and 
So I'm taking the rest of the pulp and frying it to make a little something for us. And thank you, Jay, for leaving some of those big seeds. You're welcome. I get some, too. All right. So what I'm doing right now, it just started to fry, starting to sizzle, as you can see, hopefully. I'm adding one tablespoon of butter, just a quarter of an inch off of a cube, to the mixture of pulp and seeds, and... And I'm mixing the butter into the pulp. Wow, that's melting fast. That's what the heat. temperature do you have that on? I have my our stove on the temperature of seven, but it, it's different for all stoves, so you'd have to adjust accordingly. And I don't think the butter is still a cube. <laughs> that was a fast. Why do you have another butter here? Uh, because. In the case you need it, or yeah, because the butter will evaporate and or will kind of cook into the pumpkin. So uh, this is my own recipe. I um I made it up myself. And we are we are adding. No, you're not going to add that yet, are you? You're going to let it get all hot yeah. and. Let it get all hot. You and want that moisture brown. out, right? Yeah, we're gonna wait till it gets kind of drier and Little. let it brown. Until we add the nutmeg. So you want to do that and then come back? Yeah, we'll be right back. See ya. Okay, so while while we were gone, I have evaporated about three quarters or seventy-five percent of the liquids out. And it's about time to start adding the other ingredients. Did you have to use your other butter? No. It looked like we have enough. So what are you going to add? Nutmeg. Um, so we have a little bit of nutmeg right there. You only need a tiny pinch. Then over by, right next to it, we have some orange zest that we dehydrate our orange peels and then grind them up into zest. So we add just a tiny pinch of nutmeg. Because it has a lot of flavor. Sprinkle it all over. Oh, it does. It has a lot of flavor. And just a tiny pinch of orange zest. A little bit too little pinches there. More. Yeah, a little bit more. You afraid of that nutmeg? Yeah. It's Put got her a, in there. You'll see. It's got a pungent taste when you eat it alone. Yeah, I tried it behind the scenes. Not so good. What else are you going to put in? We are going to add some Ooh, that's a good cinnamon sugar. sugar combination that we made. Ooh, smell that. Nice. Ooh. Here, here's a whiff. <laughs> Mmm, you can smell the butter. Are you going to turn your heat down a little bit before you add sugar? Yes, to about six. Good idea. We made this little cinnamon sugar combination. We only add about maybe... A little spoon. That's a tablespoon? About that much in a tablespoon. Sprinkle it all over. Oh, this is gonna be good. Stir that up. More. more sugar. It looks like you need a little more. Okay. How about that much? Is that does that look good to you? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. You're mighty welcome. How come you have salt sitting here? Because whenever you make something sweet, you have to have salt in it. It's a tiny bit, though. How, how, so how much do you think? They kind of work together. Yeah. So there's a tiny bit of salt, just to work with the sugar and cinnamon. Ooh, As you can see, all these beautiful good. seeds in them. And look at the golden brown color it's turned. You see the cinnamon in it change the color. Mm, smells, good. smells great. Mm -hmm. That's 
smells good. Yes, it does. Boy, nice that's mixture. really uh, losing all its liquid, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's starting to stick. And that's a good sign. So now we just need to flatten it around the pan. And let it sit for a minute. That's a good idea, sis. Thanks, Do you Mom. need to sample to see if you've got the right amount of sugar and stuff? Yeah, let's see a fork here. Just a little tiny sample, of, as you can see. That's really good. Can I try these? You mm -hmm. got your own fork? I'll go get one. A little bit more sugar, I think. Do it. Sprinkle some sugar over it. That cinnamon sugar that you're doing? Yep. Got my fork. Maybe a little plain sugar. Is it sour or something? No, it's got kind of a bland, kind of pungent taste. Like what? Like the taste of nutmeg. Oh. That's not. That's good. about the taste of it right now. But you still taste the pumpkin. May I try it? Yes, you may. hard to get a hold of. Kind of stringy. Can I try it too, Dave? Go ahead. Oh, please. That, that, that's enough. Yeah. Is it good? You don't like it. Not what I expected. Though. I love this. Oh, coming in with the sugar. <laughs> That's a little That's a lot of sugar. It needed it. No offense. Good cooking, though. Let this fry a little bit more. Now thinking you can just grab a full bit and like an egg, flip it, even still. Oh, no, it's not like that. See, if you, if you pick it up, it just falls right off. Yeah, I see. Slippery little boogers, aren't it? Boy, that looks good. It sure smells good. Yes, it does. You got a lot of cinnamon there. Need another taste, Mom? Yeah, I do. Yeah, me too. I thought it was going to be hard to chew, but it's not. Really tender. It's really good. Do you mind if I take this much? Go ahead. That's mighty fine. It looks good. See how I wound that around my fork like, like spaghetti? spaghetti? Yeah. It's like we had the same mind. We were both going to say spaghetti. No, oh, that's good. That tastes really good. And that's it. Now we dish it and serve. <laughs> See you guys later with the big pumpkin. I'll go get the plates. Hey, YouTube friends and family. We're back. I want to show you. We've got our, our pumpkin here. And it's all been scrubbed. You guys saw how I cut the top. I beveled it. I'm sure you can see that nice bevel all the way around. And that gives us a real nice seal when we put it back on. Now what we're going to do is we've cleaned the pumpkin out of its seeds and its pulp. We're going to stuff this pumpkin. And then we're going to let it bake in the oven. And I guarantee you're going to like this recipe. So I'll talk to you in a few. Okay, YouTube friends and family, we've got some of our ground beef here. We grind our own. We don't buy store-bought ground. And you can do that several ways. We don't raise our own beef, but we do buy roast. And 
with the roast we can trim off the fat content and get it as lean as we want it to be. So that's what we're doing here. We're going to get this all browned up and as it browns we will add our bell peppers and onions. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to this and a little bit of coarse pepper. I don't like these shakers guys. Never have. Give me a pinch of that pepper. There we go. I need one of those fancy bowls everybody uses. And we're going to let this brown up. I'm going to turn my heat up just a hair to get it browning. I like to add my bell peppers and onions after my meat has uh, lost most of its red. You don't need this mashed up real small, just um, kind of like you would for your spaghetti sauce. Okay, now we'll add our bell pepper and onion. which we already have chopped here. We have one fairly good size, a nice hefty medium onion, and a half of a big bell pepper. We're throwing those in. Thank you, son. Yep. We're going to let this continue browning, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, we've got our meat done here, as you can see. What I like is, when I cook meat, you see this brown down here on the bottom? There's a whole lot of flavor in that. whole lot. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add marinara or spaghetti sauce. We're going to spread it around, get her all mixed up, let that debraise the pan just a little bit. And then you remember that rice we made in my last video, guys? Well, we had some leftovers. That's what I like about those kind of dishes. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the leftover rice. Let me turn my heat down here to two. And we'll take rice and we'll put it in this pan. Still have all those wonderful vegetables in there. And we're going to mix this all up, guys, and then I'll be back. Okay, friends, now you can see we've got it all mixed and we're getting a little bit of steaming and boiling action, so I'm turning it down to low. We're going to take this and we're going to stuff our pumpkin. The way we do that is with a big spoon, we just stuff. So before we start stuffing, we're going to let these children taste and tell us what they think of this mixture. Can you do that, guys? Yep. You know it. <clears throat> now, what I did do is I added a little bit of our dehydrated garlic. I also added a good, good portion, just a, a ball in my hand here of Italian seasoning and that on top of the spaghetti sauce. 
So as soon as we get her filled, we'll be back. Okay, YouTube friends and family, here's our pumpkin, there's our filling, and we're going to seal this lid on, and this is going in the oven. I'm going to put a little bit of water down here in the bottom and check it periodically. We don't want this to dry out. We don't want it to boil. But we want to keep it moist in there while it's cooking. And this will go in an oven 350 degrees or 375 depending on your altitude and your oven. Not all ovens heat the same. We're going to leave it in there for about an hour and we'll check it. Odds are this size pumpkin is going to take about an hour and a half to cook good. So we'll be back and uh, if it takes a little longer, it takes a little longer. It's worth the wait. Catch you guys later. Okay friends and family, this is the water in the pan and if you look at that pumpkin, you can see the condensation or the steam. That helps to cook the pumpkin without drying it out. And uh, hopefully this pumpkin comes out really good. I like to use the pumpkin. It is an ex excellent source of vitamin A. Of course, we have our tomato sauce and tomatoes and garlic. So we've got beta carotene and it's just gonna be great, guys. It certainly is. Looking forward to dinner tonight. We'll be back. Okay, YouTube friends and family. Here we have our pumpkin. It has cooked in the oven for two hours. It is delightful. If you take a peek here, you'll see. And what we intend to do is we intend to cut wedges for everybody. Now I will tell you that the skin does not always get soft and quite often it's a little too hard to chew. But boy when you get rid of that skin that pulp is absolutely delicious. So guys you tasted it what do you think? Ooh it's good. David? I didn't get to taste it. Good, Mama? Wonderful, wonderful. I hope you guys enjoy. And Halloween is right around the bend. Catch you guys later. Great big hugs and a whole lot of love. From my kid. Hey, YouTube friends and family. We're back. And as you can see, Grandma is already into the pumpkin. Ooh, it's wonderful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Our pumpkin is cooked for two hours. Cooked a little longer than we expected, but it was a bigger pumpkin than we had expected to cook. If we lift this top off, if we can lift it off without it falling apart, you can see that our rice is all yummy inside. Mama, can you take a piece of this pumpkin? Right here. Wherever you want to take it. Down inside. Yeah. I'll take it right here. Look at that. Mike, you got to taste it. Can you give us a pre... A, uh, oh, what do they call that? I don't know. A pre... Just a taste. Can you critique it for us? It is delicious. The rice is fully cooked. All the uh, ingredients and spices are incorporated and blended together. And the pumpkin is savory and it has the flavors of the rice and meat mm, that's in the, the flesh of the pumpkin. It's well, here, this, this really is good. Steak. I, so I, even without making a jack-o'-lantern, which we like to do at Halloween, there are other uses for your pumpkin. And the pumpkin, my friends, is loaded with vitamin A. It's extremely healthy for you and your family.